What you're seeing here is a 2011 Kenworth T800 B cab. Truck is equipped with a Cummins 11.9 liter engine and an 8LL transmission. It is set up with a 20,000 pound steer axle. As you can also see, we have mounted the DPF and SCR dosing equipment under the right hand door of the cab inside the what used to be toolbox with the 18 gallon DEF tank mounted back of cab. This truck is going to be utilized as a bulk feed hauler and as you can see by the wheelbase and tag axle it's going to be set up for a very heavy duty application. This is a 5 16 double frame rail chassis with a, uh, the uh, air ride cab suspension at the back as you can see there by the two air cushions. It is on 22 5 point rubber and it is also on new way air ride suspension now the new way uh, is a ad 246 which is a 46,000 pound capacity air ride suspension and it uses a swing arm um, set up underneath uh, and that's how it uh, connects with the uh, with the drive axles this is an extremely stable vocational application air ride suspension and it uh, is capable of uh, uh, utilizing a very high center of gravity load such as a bulk feed container or concrete mixer uh, makes the truck extremely stable uh, and then at the rear of course you have a 22,000 pound capacity Watson Challen uh, air ride tag axle that is controllable inside the cab both with air pressure regulator and the up down switch a lot of states will not allow you to have the air regulator inside of the cab but as this truck is going to be utilized in the state of indiana uh, we here in indiana can still put the air pressure regulator inside of the cab also you will note on the exhaust now because we're going with the scr technology we are back to the five inch diameter exhaust rather than the seven. Uh, good or bad, I don't know, but that's, that's what it is. So there you have it, 2011 T800 Kenworth uh, heavy hauler straight truck. Um, short hood, by the way, this, is, uh, this reduces the wheelbase uh, by six inches and still maintains a long CA for the uh, application.